In this video, we'll be discussing math apps for computer science. To begin with, let's go into our math apps guide. You can click on math apps from our start page, or you can go up to tools, math apps, in order to get into this guide. So this opens up the math apps guide. Let's now click on computer science to explore this section. Here are the apps in the computer science section. Let's start by opening the Big O Notation app. We'll just click on this link. So this opens up the Big O Notation math app. This is similar to all the rest of the math apps inside of Maple. So we'll start off with the main concept section. Now, I won't cover any of this today, so you can read through this on your own time if you'd like to. But this basically just sets out the problem we're looking to explore, giving you a little bit more detail, something that you can use in the classroom. Or of course, since this is a math app, it's an interactive Maple document, you can expand on this just by marking the document as editable and then changing the text. But more importantly, we can scroll down on this, doc this document and we can look at the interactive part of the document. That's what we see here down below. Let me zoom out here just a little bit just to get all the controls on the screen. And what we see right now is we see O1 as well as O1 half N plus 2. Let's click a couple of these checkboxes just to add a, in a couple of more lines here. And now we can see we're kind of comparing a couple of different orders of operations and uh, how these change for different elements. Now the key part of this interactive demonstration of course is that we're able to look at different lines here but we're also able to change the view. So let's start actually in a different position. Let's put this all the way down to having one element. And this is beneficial because then we can see lines like we see this dark line up here as well as the red line here and we might say okay well listen if we look at these this one certainly looks like it's lower right now uh, than this line but eventually will maybe the red line overtake the other line. You know, what's the slope and what's kind of our trajectory for these lines. So we can, if we were going to use this as a teaching tool, say start playing with the constraint view in order to see how and when these two orders overtake one another. So this is the type of thing you can do with this interactive technology inside of Maple. You can explore the concept, you can get more details. Here we can click in order to get more understanding of the various uh, definitions of common algorithm complexities. Here we now show a logarithmic time and give it an example of what this means. All right, so we'll leave this there. Um, I would certainly encourage you to spend some time exploring this math app, but let's jump back over to our math app guide and have a look at a couple more applications. So the next one we'll choose, let's choose the binary search tree. So again, opens up main concept section and down below we have the interactive stuff. So let's insert a couple numbers here. Let's start with one, insert that, two, and we see that it's actually balancing. There we go. And this is actually because we have this self-balancing option checked. Let's add in some more values here. Let's do six. Let's add in four. Let's add in 10. All right, so now we've added a couple of values into our, our binary search tree here. Um, and now just for fun, let's traverse this tree. Let's put in search for four, and it'll say, okay, here's four right here. Let's search down and look for three. This will walk through and we'll do all the checking and we'll find the three node here. And uh, you can kind of spend some time with this app here. We can traverse it in uh, pre-order. We can traverse it in in-order post order, and so on. So the, inter the interface is really meant to be interactive. We're meant to kind of use the ideas that we would be, say, teaching in a classroom or walking through binary search trees uh, and use this application just as an interactive uh, window into that concept. All right, let's switch gears again. Let's jump over to another math app. So next, let's talk about the Caesar cipher. And this is an exciting one. We kind of get into some encryption type problems, but uh, let's scroll down and see what this one looks like. So here we are going to apply a, a right shift and we can just drag this out. If we're looking here just at our, as our, at our Latin alphabet A through Z, uh, we can just shift this by say six characters and we'll see how this shifts the alphabet. And um, we can actually just work with, hey, see here we have, please enter your text here. And this is the cipher text when we've used this, when we've used this shifting algorithm turn this back to zero, please enter your text, and then we're just working through shifting this one at a time. 
So this is a simple cipher. We're just shifting characters by kind of one, or in this case, 10. Uh, but you can very quickly see as we're dragging this out how this would affect uh, the alphabet, the, the codes that you're working with. All right, let's jump to it. So I think, uh, I think what we'll actually do is we'll close off by showing the sorting algorithms app. As you can see from that previous list, there's certainly a lot more apps we can explore, and I would encourage you to go through that math apps guide in order to explore even more. But uh, the comparison of the sorting algorithms app is a lot of fun because we can see how sorting algorithms kind of work visually. And uh, we start off here, of course, explaining the concept. Here we get a little bit of understanding of the time complexity of a sorting algorithm. And then we're given a brief implementation of what the code would look like if we were to code this up in Maple and so on. And we can see here there's lots of different sorting algorithms, but let's let's instead jump down to the bottom here. Let's do insertion sort. Uh, we can generate a random array of 10 values, and then let's sort those values. And then what you see is literally Maple showing you an animation of what this looks like. And uh, we try to do we try to do our best job at kind of giving a, an animation that matches the theory up with a sorting algorithm. And this can be difficult because a lot of times we're just going to be looking at this as um, kind of more of a theoretical approach. We're looking at this as, as kind of algorithms. But uh, with this, we can kind of visualize, we can kind of look and see how these numbers are moving around. Uh, I'm just now choosing pancake sort. We're walking through this one. And you can kind of visualize these numbers moving around inside of this, uh, this list of values. So as you can see, this interface as well, it's pretty simple. We just open up any one of these we would like, choose a sorting algorithm. We can customize the list of numbers we want to sort. And then we just press the sort button in order to have Maple run through that animation for us and kind of give us a little bit more of a visual approach to learning and understanding sorting, sorting algorithms. All right, so as I said, that's about it. That's, so I just wanted to show you a couple of our computer science apps for today. Uh, if you would like to see more, I would encourage you again to go up to tools, math apps or directly from the start page just press on math apps you go into the math apps guide you choose computer science and then you can browse through a number of different applications which are available to you within maple today thank you very much